If you're looking for the best budget laptops for students in 2020, then you've come to the right place. When picking these laptops we make sure they offer excellent value for money, we also make sure they are a 2020 model, offering the latest top-notch hardwares, besides the performance, we also try to look at the camera, in case you need to use classroom or zoom for remote learning. The longer battery life so you will have uninterrupted workflow or study, and last but not least, a durable design that will last longer, please make sure to watch till the end of the video, so you can have a wide variety of choices. If you want the best laptop under $500, Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is the best option right now, coming with an excellent 14-inch display, a comfortable keyboard and a solid durable chassis Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is built to standard. It also offers the kind of performance that you can only find in more expensive laptops and that makes it a top contender among budget. This IdeaPad offers a solid feature set designed for reliable day-to-day -day performance. Under the hood, it packs AMD's Ryzen 5 3500U processor, coming in the same level with some other laptops, outfitted with an Intel's Core i5 processor, it comes with an 8GB of DDR4 RAM for an easy and smooth workflow, a 256GB of solid-state drive for a fast data share and transfer. Its AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics packs enough power when dealing with 3D objects, in addition, with this GPU you can do casual gaming, with a title like Fortnite, Warface with the lowest setting, and 60 frames per second, which is great at this price point. While it's not ThinkPad good, you'll still enjoy the Lenovo IdeaPad 3's keyboard. The well-curved Sheiklet-style keys are well-sized and quite responsive. The 1.4mm key travel is short, but is still much better than the keyboards on competing devices. The keyboard is not backlit, but that's far from being a standard feature on budget laptops. The 4.1x2.6 inch touchpad on the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is pretty responsive, and you will not have any problems executing Windows 10 gestures, like pinch to zoom and three finger swipes when switching windows. Overall, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is an affordable laptop with an excellent 14-inch display, a comfortable keyboard, and a solid, durable chassis. The Dell Inspiron 13 5000 looks and acts like a pricier ultra-portable. Dell smartly deployed enough aluminum in its construction to make it feel more like an upscale laptop than a plastic budget model. Add the razor-thin screen bezels, and you have an attractive, compact ultra-portable that certainly looks tonier than its sub-$600 price. Inside, it features a 10th generation Intel Core i5 processor, 8GB of low-powered DDR3 RAM, and a 256GB of solid-state drive. The CPU and RAM should keep you computing merrily for years, but you may run out of storage space if you wish to keep even a modest library of photos and videos on board, and unfortunately, Dell doesn't offer an SSD larger than 256GB for this model. But if you've embraced cloud storage or own a trusted external drive, the Inspiron 13 5000 laptop offers great value among ultra-portables. The keyboard feels roomy and responsive. The keys are quiet and have a springy feel for an enjoyable typing experience, and the aluminum deck has none of the flex that you get from a plastic surface. The keys also offer two levels of backlighting, but it isn't as effective against the silver keys. In addition, the power button at the top right of the keyboard features an integrated fingerprint reader for easy, secure logins, an appreciated touch in a mid-range laptop. The buttonless touchpad on this laptop has a matte finish that creates a perfect surface for smooth swipes. The port selection is limited but serviceable. On the left side, you'll find a power connection, an HDMI port, a USB 3.1 Type-C port, and a micro SD card slot. On the right side, you will find a USB 3.1 Type-A port and a headphone jack. The Dell Inspiron 13 5000 is the company's mid-range ultra-portable laptop that combines premium styling and the latest Intel silicon to create a system that looks and performs like pricier notebooks. Unlike budget models that come wrapped in flimsy plastic chassis, the Inspiron 13 5000 features an aluminum lid and keyboard deck for added durability and style. The Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 14 punches far above its weight. 
This $600 2-in-win convertible laptop offers better computing performance than many competitors that cost more than twice as much. It's also got decent physical connectivity options, a sturdy, well-designed chassis, and a comfortable keyboard. While the Flex 5's 14-inch display could be brighter and it could stand to lose a few ounces, it's nevertheless a screaming good value and an excellent mainstream laptop. Besides a more relaxed chassis design, the Flex 5 is able to offer such a potent blend of price and performance because of its fourth-generation AMD Ryzen Renoir processor options. The Ryzen 5 4500U benchmark similarly to many Intel Core i7 CPUs in more expensive laptops. Performance-wise it's a great leap forward for mobile computing. Its integrated AMD Radeon graphics processor will let you deal with 3D tasks and can even play AAA titles with dropped frames. Its 16GB of DDR4 RAM and 256GB of solid-state drive will give you a machine that works smoothly and multitask without a problem. The backlit keyboard offers remarkably stable key switches, making for a comfortable and satisfying typing experience. It's derived from Lenovo's flagship ThinkPad keyboards, with a few subtle differences. The touchpad is a bit stiff, but it still tracks accurately. Talking about the connectivity, on the left side, you'll find a power port, an HDMI 1.4B output, a USB Type-C port, and a headphone microphone combo jack. The USB Type-C port can be used to charge the laptop, and Lenovo includes an AC adapter with a USB-C plug. On the right side, there are two USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A ports, an SD card reader, and the Flex 5's power button. Side-mounted power buttons are easier to use when the laptop is propped up like an easel, but be careful not to accidentally press the button when you grasp the Flex 5 on its sides. Overall, the Flex 5 proves it's possible to offer performance acceptable for light gaming or occasional number crunching and multimedia editing in a laptop that costs far less than category flagships like the Dell XPS 13 or the Apple MacBook Pro. While the chassis could be a bit lighter and the screen a bit brighter, the capabilities of the Ryzen 5 processor outweigh these deficiencies. The Flex 5 is therefore a top pick in the crowded field of mid-range 2-in-1 convertible laptops. The Dell XPS lineup is among the best budget lineup out there offering a strong, sleek build quality and a powerful internals, thanks to its latest updates, the XPS 13 keeps getting better and better, and getting work done, and doing some light gaming isn't an issue. Dell's signature Infinity Edge display now sports a trimmed bottom bezel that makes watching movies and shows even more immersive. And more minor touches, such as a snappy edge-to-edge -edge keyboard and the larger touchpad, just make the XPS 13 even more of a delight to use. Performance-wise, the Dell XPS 13 hits like a heavyweight. Packing an Intel Core i7-1065G7 Ice Lake processor with 16GB of low-power DDR4 RAM, letting you multitask and surf the web with multiple Chrome tabs opened, all without a stutter. On the storage front the entry level for this device offers a 256GB M.2 NVMe SSD, with faster duplication rate. The Intel Iris Plus GPU inside the XPS 13 isn't really designed to handle hardcore gaming, but it works in a pinch letting you play AAA titles with 60 frames per second or less. Talking about the connectivity the latest Dell XPS 13 is pretty lean on ports, so be prepared to have a dongle or two if you need to connect a ton of accessories at once. The laptop packs two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports for charging and connecting to USB-C accessories such as monitors. Beyond that, you get a micro SD reader and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Dell does include a USB-C to USB-A adapter in the box, which is useful for folks who need to connect legacy peripherals. The XPS 13's edge-to-edge -edge keyboard is sporting larger keycaps 9% larger to be exact. Despite the bigger size, the keys are still well-spaced, and none of them were downsized to make room. The keys are comfortable, backlit and bright enough to make out every key character in a darkened room. The glass precision touchpad. At 4.4 by 2.6 is 17% larger than previous iterations, giving you extra room to navigate web pages. Performing Windows 10 gestures such as pinch zoom and three finger swipe were seamless in execution. Dell still has one of the smallest integrated webcams in the industry. 
The 0.1-inch, 720-pixel webcam does a great job capturing color, making it the best choice for remote learning. Overall with a great build quality that is smaller, sleeker and sporting the tiniest bezels on all sides, plus packing a great deal of power, the new Dell XPS 13 shows that Dell still knows how to push the envelope without going too far. Number 1 in our list of the best budget laptop for students is the Acer Swift 3. This model from Acer cost only $649, but thanks to its powerful AMD chip, this laptop packs enough power to outperform some of the $2000 laptops. This 14-inch model packs enough power to run anything you throw at. Its 2 GHz AMD Ryzen 7 4700U octa-core processor with turbo boost of up to 4.1 GHz can beat some of the best Core i7 configured processors. In addition it pack 8 GB of low-power DDR4 RAM, giving you the freedom to multitask, while elongating your battery life, it has 512 GB of solid-state drive, and its integrated AMD Radeon GPU will let you play some of the best AAA title games, up to 100 frames per second. When it comes to the keyboard, the AMD Swift 3 sports silver keys with a white keyboard that is backlit, which gives the keyboard an attractive frosty vibe. However, the gray characters may be a little bit difficult to see, because the gray lettering against the silver keys doesn't provide enough contrast. Touch typists won't care too much about this, but hunt and peck types with poor eyesight may want to steer clear of this keyboard. Overall the keys give a springy feedback, there's also a satisfying audible click with each keystroke. The Acer Swift 3 has a wide, silver touchpad that work well with Windows 10 gestures, such as pinch to zoom or two finger swiping to revisit previous pages. Talking about the connectivity, on the left side of the laptop, you'll find a DC charging port, an HDMI port, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A port, and a USB Type-C port, which supports DisplayPort, Thunderbolt 3 and power delivery. On the right side, you'll discover a headphone microphone jack, a USB 2.0 Type-A port and a Kensington lock slot. Unfortunately, there is no micro SD card slot, but you can always get an external micro SD reader. Overall, at such a budget-friendly price, there isn't any brand generous enough to offer the stated hardware specs and build quality, and currently this is the most popular laptop among students. The only downside with the Swift 3 is its display, brightness and color reproduction. But if you're someone who spends most of your time indoors, brightness is not going to be much of an issue. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.